Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I won't be reviewing anything because I always wanted to do more videos on this site that weren't just reviews. I'm going to be doing reviews. I've got loads of stuff to review. I've got a big box of stuff to review there, uh, which I will be getting through. Uh, but I want to do things that I think would be valuable and I've been getting questions on social media and it made me think, well, maybe I can answer those questions uh, for you, because if someone's got a question, it tends to mean someone else has, and a lot of other people have. So I'll do this anonymously because I haven't asked permission, but it was on Instagram, um, and someone said, uh, what comes to mind when you think of other knacky type moves? So we talked about the duck change. Um, other knacky type moves that you think I might like, and I realised that they're moves that I really like teaching and doing. These kind of moves... What do you, by a knacky move, I kind of mean something that isn't obviously difficult. So your hands aren't getting into some weird position. It's kind of, they seem easy. You kind of know all the bits, but for some reason they don't always go together. And usually uh, what happens is you kind of get them and you don't know why. Like some moves, you just know why, because your hands, you've got to build up the muscle there and you can't, re you got any strength in that pinky when it pulls down, all those kind of things. Whereas some moves, you just kind of, well, I'm doing that, I'm doing that. I don't see what else I can do. And they just kind of, come now it doesn't mean that there aren't ways you can improve them uh, and speaking of which by the way uh i have an online magic <laughs> i forgot to mention it uh an online magic course called onlinemagic.co instead of me banging on about how good it is i'm going to read you uh, we're, we're in trust pilot because i want to be trusted and uh, people have been leaving reviews and i thought i'd read you a review rather than me say it's really good because i would say that wouldn't i Steve has been around for a while, thanks. I, I, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> and you can tell that he's teaching from a worker's perspective and not from the ivory tower. Uh, but what is even more is Encyclopedia is alive and growing. Steve listens to requests and adds new tutorials to meet them. A great pace uh, to learn and highly recommended. That's from Philip. Uh, thank you very much indeed. So that's what you're going to get. Live sessions every week. David Williamson last week. We've had Luch on there. We've had loads of people. Andy Gladwin's come on. Um, and... Uh, and hundreds of videos, which I'm, as he says, uh, expanding all the time. So have a look at that, onlinemagic.co. Any questions, uh, ask me. And on that as well, this isn't an advertisement, not with that really, but uh, for my Instagram, this, this question came in on Instagram. So I have Instagram at SF, as in Steve Faulkner, Online Magic. Uh, Facebook, facebook.com forward slash SF Online Magic as well. And you can ask me questions on that, DM me. And I can bring these questions onto the channel as well, as I said before. So do follow me on those platforms and, uh, and ask away. And, don't, and I'm happy to talk about anything. It's like on the course. I'm not going to expose magic tricks, but I'm happy to talk about any aspect, all the challenges uh, aspect of magic and all the challenges I've had to help you overcome them. Really, that's kind of my life's work at the moment to sound very grand indeed. So this is the first of the, the Naki Moves video videos the, the the first one i'm going to talk about which i found really really tough and then when i got it i kind of went all oh, right it's that and those of you who know me and have been on the course will be not surprised at this it's leonard green's top shot this is when the first time i saw this as with most of these moves actually i just went that's amazing it just looks like real magic and then when i found out it was it was a skill thing because obviously the first response when i saw this is i don't think i've I'd, I'd done much magic uh, but it does look like it looks so good and then when you break it down you can see what's happening and then i thought well that's, it's going to be so difficult because i'm not very good at catching things even though i'm a juggler it's it, the accuracy has got to be amazing and then i realized it wasn't really about accuracy it's about timing and confidence and actually in this move Yes, when you first hold the deck in preparation for the move, it feels a bit odd, but there's nothing really happening that's really knuckle-busting there. You're holding the deck in a certain way, you're doing a thing with your pinky, you're doing a thing with your other hand, and it just all comes together. And I remember sitting there just for so long, and it just, I just went bang. And it is one of those moves that I have taught to people, and now I've got a little bit of work on it, and I did get permission very kindly from Leonard to teach this, uh, on my original um, materials DVD way back, but also, and I'll talk about it constantly, ad nauseum on the course. Now, I have taught people it and just given them a couple of tips and they finally found it coming together. It's, it's, there's a couple of things, bits of work on this that if you know that, you'll go, oh, right, it's coming together. It's also one of those moves that even though very, very impressive, 
it's easy to get it wrong timing wise. I've performed this and I've actually got a bit of footage of me performing this where it didn't really get much of a response because people can kind of miss it. And you've got, you've got to frame this move. You've really got to kind of wait until they're looking at that point, do the move and then let them process it. And what I used to do because I was quite nervous is really kind of uh, rush into it and rush out of it really just because I wanted to get it right. And I would say if you do learn this and you, you're nervous about it, if you do miss it, it's not the end of the world. I still miss it all the time. The worst case scenario, it doesn't land in your hand, it doesn't flow off properly, but you're still showing them a card and you're still doing the trick. And um, I'm constantly, well, not constantly, <laughs> it makes me sound awful, but quite often I do go, oh, and it just kind of like plops off the deck onto the, the table and uh, doesn't look that impressive. But that's fine, you know, you do something else afterwards. So it's great for ace productions, four of a kind productions, anything like that, um, multiple selections. I just think it's a lovely move, not as difficult as you think, and uh, and I'd love to know your thoughts on this. If you've had any challenges learning it, and I'll you know I'll help for, um, gladly do a little follow up video uh, or answer your comments, or um, or if you do it all the time and you found you're not quite getting the responses, or you are and you love it, anything like that. So that is Leonard Green's Top Shot, a wonderful move, just love it to bits, uh, knacky as you like, and uh, a bit flourishy but joyous. So. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as I said, check out onlinemagic.co. Please do like and subscribe. If you want to share this, talk about it with your friends, that's great. Uh, it really, really helps. And, um, and have a great one. Take care. Thank you.